Well, this is a car rally, and vehicles made all over the world have been starting throughout Europe and are now converging on the finish. And it's a very exact time schedule. In fact, we've been on the go already for two days and nights, and there's still a long way to go. And now, this is the French Alps. And the weather's very unpredictable. And it's this unpredictability of the weather, together with the roads, that are going to really sort out the winners. Let's take a closer look and see what it's really like to compete in events such as this. What draws men, and women for that matter, to this tough and exciting game? Absolute right. Car rallying is a sport that tests driving ability on public roads. The cars are normal production models which any of us can buy, although they're specially equipped for this type of event. Starting at intervals of a minute or so, the crews of these cars try to maintain the high average speed set by the organisers on roads which are sometimes little more than a mountain track. This rally runs for nearly 2,000 miles, along which are checkpoints to record each competitor's progress. Well, now we're in a French competitor's car, and this is a Renault with a tuned engine by Gordini. Now, I'm sitting where the passenger sits, and in front of me, I have various things to help me keep on the right road. I have, of course, a light, which is here, so I can follow my nap reading notes. Here I have a speed pilot, and this speed pilot, I dial the speed I want, and it tells me if I'm ahead or behind the time that I'm meant to keep up. Down here, I have a stopwatch where I can time very accurately on this watch here to see what speed we've done on the test. And down there by my feet, if you can see it, is a rest so that my foot doesn't slide across onto the driver and mean that we've got flat out all the time, which would be too much. And then just down there is a radio in case we get bored. Well, now, I'm in quite a different car this time. This is one of the newer types of Lancia Fulvia, which, unlike the Renault, which has the engine at the back and drives the rear wheels, this one has the engine at the front and drives the front wheels, and therefore it handles considerably differently. I've got very similar sort of navigational aids. I've got the very latest Halder uh, Twin Master, uh, which is an extremely accurate calculator telling me to within 17 yards per mile of exactly where the car is. My navigator tells me what I should know about the road and this is an intercom from me to him and backwards. Now another thing that helps me with this car is although it's something about just under 70 cubic inches I think it has a maximum speed of over 120 miles an hour so this performance Coupled, coupled with these aids that I have certainly is a help. And down here on the left is another very important aid, and that is the coffee flask. 